Hello and welcome to Quartzlight, your car brochure channel. And in today's episode, the Citroen C5 Estate. Welcome back, and if you're new to Quartzlight, we're a car brochure channel here on YouTube. Looking at car brochures from around the world from the 60s, 70s. 80s and 90s and sometimes beyond that as well so if you're interested in cars and car brochures please consider subscribing anyway back to today's episode yet yeah, the citroen c5 estate and yes we've kind of like gone outside the scope we're actually into the year 2000 or in the 2000s i should say uh because the the c5 actually came out in the year 2000 ran to 2008 although there were a little bit of a facelift around about 2004 and of course the c5 name continued after 2008 with a bit of a refresh i kind of like it's probably a bit controversial i know a lot of people prefer the later models but i actually prefer these earlier designed ones actually and i should also point out we've now got our quarter light logo sticker this was our old one, caused a few problems, but uh, we redesigned it and we've got a new quartz light sticker now in sticker form, which you can actually find in the shop now. Anyway, the Citroen C5 Estate, this particular brochure is dated September 2003, just, so, just before that facelift happened. Um, now, the interesting thing about these is that the you know, the famous Citroen Hydro pneumatic suspension had a bit of a development, now called the Hydroactive 3. Major change was um, the use of the electronic sensors to replace the mechanical height suspensions, suspension. But more importantly than that, in a major brake with Citroen tradition, the brakes and steering were no longer powered by that same hydraulic system as the suspension so certainly a big change there the other thing about these uh citroen c5s uh, my dad had one pretty much identical to this it was it was silver it was the estate it was the top of the range estate um to replace his xantia and this of course the c5 was a replacement for the xantia the xantia was my dad's last company car and this was kind of like i think a bit of a gift to him in his retirement had it for a couple of years went all the way around europe in it towed a caravan um and it was pretty much faultless although he didn't actually keep it that long because he sold it when he moved to spain but certainly a memorable car and i drove it a few times and i actually really liked it the brochure itself quite a simple brochure really a very simple heading citroen c5 estate little citroen badge in red on the top and right hand corner so let's open this brochure up and learn a bit more about this first generation c5 okay so we open the brochure up and really good quality pictures of the estate in this brochure let's just zoom in and take them one at a time really nice interiors on the top models bit of fake woodery um, bit of a two-tone effect which actually quite suits it i think um seats i remember are pretty comfortable actually and the rear i really do like the tail lights actually on the c5 estate this is the hdi my dad also had the hdi bit of a, a, a graph at the back to tell us which models we could get at this time big roof rails on there as well i really like the design of the c5 i know i say more than more people don't but i have actually always really liked the design of these i think they're a really interesting car and i like citrons really so maybe that's what it's all about i don't know but um let's just uh, move to the other pictures obviously a very practical vehicle the estate uh, both with the seats up and the seats down and we've got this kind of like a safety uh, retractable passenger cabin safety net on this one and we had two different options we could just open the glass if we wanted rather than the full uh, tailgate very low silver easy to bring things up and down and of course 
you could raise and lower the suspension to make it even easy if you want like i say, my dad was in silver and was this particular i think this was probably around about 2003 so it does remind me very much of my dad's old car and there is the little switch inside the uh, boot area there to actually raise and lower uh, the suspension to make it easier to put things in and out i always thought citroens were very good at being estates for that reason and then of course split fold rear seat and a few of the dimensions of that area pretty practical car overall though and then it folds out as so to become pretty wordy so i'm going to read all this but we'll start on the left hand side and pick some key points out bit of a zoom in on one of the small images yet yeah, six speed gearbox and it's kind of like starts by saying the Citroen C5 Estate with its graceful and flowing lines combines elegant and distinctive styling with Citroen's advanced digital technology and with a vast and uniquely adaptable boot it brings the concept of the true estate car immediately up to date. Then we learn a bit about the suspension, Auto Adaptive Hydroactive 3 Suspension, C5 Estate. Amazing versatility is underpinned by its advanced digital technology. New generation Auto Adaptive Hydroactive 3 Suspension ensures a perfectly level and constant ride, regardless of the load and its position on board. Even with a boot full of heavy equipment or luggage, the Citroen C5 Estate remains level, agile and poised at all times. This is in addition to the simply outstanding road holding, ride comfort and handling that Hydroactive 3 brings across the entire C5 range. On some models, Hydroactive 3 uses a number of electronic sensors to continually monitor your driving style and the conditions of the road. And it starts telling you the system then automatically adapts its spring rate and dampening surface to smooth out rough roads, surfaces, handle type corners etc etc it goes on to say these same models also feature a sport setting that puts the suspension into performance mode more often and for longer and we do get an image of that there is the sport mode button or switch so it then kind of introduces the engine choices so we've got a petrol range featuring the responsive 1.8 16 valve 117 horsepower and a 2 litre 16 valve 138 horsepower and the range topping uh, combining power agility and refinement in the mighty 210 horsepower 3 litre v6 24 valve little bit of an image of that and of course the diesel choices so the high pressure direct inje injection diesel engines are already widely acclaimed with the c5 estate the 2 litre hdi 90 horsepower and a 2 litre hdi 110 horsepower engines sit alongside a remarkable 2.2 hdi which is the engine my dad had actually in his c5 producing an awesome 232 pound foot of torque at low revs and 136 horsepower it also says that now the new 6 speed gearbox on the 2.2 HDI. We do get our kind of like first glimpse of the side profile of the C5 estate. And then a bit of a rear shot of this HDI powered version. And a look on the inside and I really like the look of those particular seats. Unusual that sort of sweeping um, wood or pretend wood insert on the doors and another look at the front view like i say around about 2004 they did a facelift change that front end grille a little bit um, but these are the earlier ones and we're on to the back page and it gives us a bit of a table at the top there showing the c5 estate fuel consumption and co2 emissions so let's have a, a look of the list of those engines and figures so there we go, that is a full list of engines, uh, 1.8, 16 valve, 2 litre, 16 valve, 
2 litre 16 valve with an auto, uh, 3 litre V6 24 valve, only an auto here, uh, 2 litre HDI 90 horsepower, 2 litre HDI 110 horsepower, 2 litre HDI 110 horsepower auto, and then the 2.2 HDI manual and automatic shows all the CO figures and then right at the very end the combined figures a pretty economical car all round really I guess the only exception probably would be that 3 litre 24 valve automatic petrol version but the rest extremely good particularly the diesels of course and then lower down we do get a little bit of a picture of a different colour at least a side view of this particular one in red and then a little bit of a Citroen caption at time nothing moves you like a Citroen and the UK address and there once again is the date September 2003 so there you go, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this brochure for the Citroen C5 estate and this first generation version of course there was a second generation that came out in sort of like 2007-2008 uh, somewhere around that looked a bit more conventional and then of course it turned into a SUV although I still prefer estates but thank you so much for watching today if you remember these cars please do jot them in the comments and of course your personal experiences thank you once again for watching Quartz Light please do like and subscribe if you've not done already and we'll see you very soon all the best and goodbye.